Good evening and thanks for joining us for your Northeast Arkansas Late News. I'm Josh Egbert and I'm Meredith Mitchell. An accident between a teenager on a bike and a truck near downtown Jonesboro is sparking outcries from locals to improve their neighborhood. Northeast Arkansas Simone Jamison explains how they plan on addressing the issue. Residents in Jonesboro's Meadowbrook neighborhood are discussing ways to improve safety in the area. 15-year-old Quentin Tate collided with a pickup truck while riding his bike at the intersection of Meadowbrook and Washington Avenue Tuesday. Tate was airlifted to a Memphis hospital. Just heard a loud boom and somebody yelling, oh my God, oh my God, and we ran outside. A Jonesboro teacher posted on Facebook that the teen suffered a fractured skull, bleeding on the brain, and is believed to be unresponsive. KJMB was unable to confirm those injuries, but confirmed that the teen is still at Regional One Medical Center. Meadowbrook residents are now demanding that the city of Jonesboro take some action. They're requesting that sidewalks and speed bumps be added to the roads to make the neighborhood safer for all residents. Christopher Pettis says kids that live in the neighborhood are often forced to cut through the grass and ride their bikes in the street. We got children out here who play in these streets, you know what I'm saying, riding their bikes around. And they just want to have fun, you know, and they shouldn't have to look over their shoulder every five minutes when a car comes speeding through. O.C. Holbrook has been a Meadowbrook resident for four years and plans to start a safety petition. He says the neighborhood is safe with no major problems, except for speeding drivers. We have a lot of kids, especially in the summertime, and they don't have nowhere else to ride their bikes at. Now, I wish we could get some sidewalks up through here and get some speed bumps out here. That way it'll stop a lot of these cars from, you know, from speeding, you know, because we have a lot of kids. Meadowbrook residents ask that changes be made as soon as possible. I mean, we don't want nothing to happen to no more kids because yesterday was really sad. For Northeast Arkansas News, I'm Simone Jameson. Now, Jonesboro police don't have an update on the teen's condition, but we will, of course, keep you updated on any information that does become available.